Well, farmers are trying to figure out how to control Roundup-resistant weeds. A lot of them are turning to Liberty Link soybeans, but probably the biggest question that Darren and I get is, do those Liberty Link beans actually yield? Well, do they yield, and will Liberty be able to kill my weeds? That's two of the biggest concerns that I've got, because, you know, we talked about corn traits earlier this fall, and it's the same thing in soybean traits. If you're going to switch from, say, Roundup ready to yield soybeans over to Liberty Link soybeans, or you're going to go from conventional beans to Liberty beans, uh, or, or any combination of those things. Hey, I'm going to have some different genetics in there. So it's not only I've got a different trait so I can put different herbicides on my field safely, it's I've got a different germplasm in there too. So when you're looking at Liberty Link soybeans, that is a natural question. How are they going to yield compared to Roundup Ready to Yield soybeans? I think there are good products in both trait packages. I think there are good products in conventional trait packages too. And I would also say this, there are some products that aren't the best for you in any of those trait packages. So you really need to do your homework and say, okay, are there bad conventional varieties for me and my ground? Yes. Are there bad Roundup varieties, bad Liberty varieties? Sure. So there are good ones for your farm for your ground and for your rotation, so I would not be scared about that at all. All right, but here's the whole problem. If you're thinking that Liberty is the same product as Roundup, it's not at all. Liberty is a lot different than Roundup. Number one, it's a contact killer. Roundup is very systemic in the plant, Liberty's not. So you have to have better coverage. You're probably going to need more water, more spray pressure. You definitely want to use flat fan nozzles. Don't be using those drift reduction nozzles like you use for Roundup, or you're not going to be happy. So you got to do all these things, plus you want to throw some ammonium sulfate in there to make sure you get a little bit better performance. And then the other big thing is, you know, when Roundup first came out on Roundup Ready Soybeans, people were killing two, three foot tall weeds with no problem. You're not going to do that with Liberty. You got to use a good strong rate, 29 or 36 ounces, something like that. But either way, even if you're using 36 ounces, it's still not good enough to take down three foot tall weeds consistently. So use a pre-emerge herbicide and start spraying when those weeds are small. Okay, so getting that herbicide to work well is very important. And for me, it all starts with that great pre-emerge herbicide program. With Liberty Link Soybeans, they do have rebates on some of those key pre-herbicides like the Authority brand products. I would strongly recommend that. If I'm planting Liberty Link Soybeans, I would certainly include that in the program. Uh, and like we always talk about an Ag PhD, we love three different sites of action pre-emerge for the best weed control in soybeans. So I would strongly recommend that. Maybe you use something like Authority MTZ. So you have the Authority and the Metribuzin. And then I would add something like Prowl or Trefland, depending on your tillage system. Now you've got three different sites of action and it still costs less than some of the expensive post-emerge treatments that you're gonna have to use to clean up any escape weeds if you didn't have that Liberty as an option. Now, speaking of Liberty, once you use that first shot of Liberty, in many cases here this year, that second pass is going to be covered. So that's part of their performance program. Hey, you put a good pre down, you use Liberty. If you need another shot of Liberty, hey, you can have the herbicide, just get out there and get it done. So that's going to be a good thing. It's going to make it much more economical for you than it may have been in the past. The economics, hey, that's really the whole key. People are asking, what's the cost of the Liberty system versus the cost of the Roundup system? What you're going to find, the soybean price is fairly similar, but with that herbicide, yes, even though Liberty herbicide came down a lot in price this year, it's still going to be considerably more expensive than Roundup. But I guess I would just ask you, well, um, are you getting control with your Roundup or are you not? Well, most people aren't with just straight Roundup. So not only are they using more than just one pre, they're using tank mix partners post. So if you can avoid the tank mix partners and you maybe use one less pre in your Liberty program versus your Roundup program, well, hey, that offsets that cost difference. And the other big thing is, let's face it, if you have weeds out there, you have dramatically less yield. I've talked to a lot of guys that have run through water hemp or Palmer pigweed areas in fields. It's 20 bushels less. Well, what's 20 bushels cost you? Okay, so here's the thing. We just want you to have great weed control and maximize your profit on your farm. So yes, the Liberty system could very well cost a few dollars more, but grand total, it's not gonna be a whole lot different than the Roundup system in terms of cost. Okay, I wanna wrap this thing up here. And when I look at Liberty Link beans, believe me, we can make a good system for weed control for Roundup Ready beans in almost every situation. So don't think, well, I have to go away from Roundup. No, I think we can tweak your program and get pretty good control on almost everything. But let's just say that you choose to go with the Liberty 
CityLink system. A couple other things that we haven't talked about. One, you don't have to burn the beans with Liberty. If you did have to spray, say, a Cobra at full rate, you certainly have to burn the beans. Now that that's necessarily bad, but a lot of guys don't like to see their beans burned. So if you have Liberty as an option, Liberty Link soybeans, you don't have to burn the beans. The other thing is when you don't burn the beans, we see beans getting to a canopy quicker. The chances of having to respray again are less in that Liberty Link system because you didn't do anything to slow that crop from growing and that full canopy is your best weed control you're going to get. Well, just make sure you pick a great yielding variety regardless of what the trait package is. And if you are going to spray Liberty, make sure you're switching to flat fan nozzles and using maybe a little more water and a little better spray pressure to get great spray coverage and make your Liberty work the best possible. Well, Liberty's good on quite a few weeds. Unfortunately, it's not the best choice for our Weed of the Week. We'll share what is coming up later in the show.